Everyone has seen photographs of the Great Pyramid of Giza taken from the outside, but what about the inside? Who hasn't imagined what it's like to be inside the Great Pyramid? Is it true that it's just a maze of tunnels where one would get lost forever? The Great Pyramid has many myths and legends surrounding it, as it is one of humanity's most perplexing engineering feats. Welcome to Planet Lux, and in this video we'll take a look inside the King's Chamber Pyramid. It is true that the Great Pyramid was built to keep the looters out. It was also constructed with an emphasis on the exterior because the interior was intended to be sealed off and never accessed again. The pyramid has fascinated people for centuries, and there are likely to be more things about the Great Pyramid that no one knows. According to Napoleonic legend, after spending hours alone in the King's Chamber of Egypt's Great Pyramid, the future Emperor of France emerged pale and shaken. He never revealed what had upset him, but the incident allegedly changed his life. Whether or not the story is true, it attests to the Great Pyramid's ability to capture the imagination of a great leader as well as our own. What could Napoleon have seen to elicit such a reaction? What exactly is contained within the Great Pyramid? The simple answer is, well, not much. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu, is the oldest and tallest of the three pyramids that stand guard over Giza. It was built between 2551 and 2528 BC and stood 481.4 feet tall, or about 45 stories. The Great Pyramid and its neighbors, the Pyramids of Khafre and Menkora, are mostly just solid masses of stone, 2.3 million blocks of cut limestone to be exact, which is the approximate number that makes up the Great Pyramid. As seen on the cap of Khafre's pyramid, all three pyramids would have originally had an outer casing of lighter limestone. We can only imagine how the gleaming white limestone would have enhanced the pyramid's already spectacular appearance. The pyramids of Giza, like the Egyptian pyramids that preceded and followed them, served as royal tombs for pharaohs or kings. They were frequently part of a larger funerary complex that also included queen's burial sites and mortuary temples for daily offerings. The pharaoh's final resting place was usually beneath the pyramid in a subterranean burial chamber. Although the Great Pyramid has subterranean chambers, they were never completed, and Khufu's sarcophagus is now housed in the king's chamber, where Napoleon is said to have spent time. The Great Pyramid, like its neighbors, has very little open space within its hulking mass. Napoleon would have entered the king's chamber through a narrow ascending passageway, past the queen's chamber and then through the grand gallery, a taller carbled passageway. Napoleon would have noticed that the king's chamber was small and lined with thick granite blocks, as were other king's chambers. Because Egyptians only began decorating burial chambers with hieroglyphic texts in later pyramids, the space would have been very austere. Furthermore, the pyramids would have been long plundered by the time of Napoleon's Egyptian campaign at the end of the 18th century. He would not have discovered any rumored treasures in the chamber, only the massive granite sarcophagus which once held the king's mummy and is now firmly embedded in the floor. With little to see inside the Great Pyramid or any of the other pyramids near Giza, we can only speculate on what might have alarmed Napoleon. Just as we can speculate on the pyramid's other mysteries. The royal treasures they once held, the brilliant sight they must have been when first completed, and the disciplined effort it took to build them. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic… The King's Chamber is a room near the top of the Great Pyramid. Three pink granite monoliths, which are still in place near the top of the Grand Gallery, form the door to the King's Chamber. The modern entrance is located at the upper end of the Grand Gallery's south wall. The King's Chamber is made entirely of pink granite and measures 10.45 meters by 5.20 meters. It had to be built to withstand tremendous pressure from the masonry above. It is an architectural marvel with a flat roof made of nine massive granite blocks that support over 400 tons of masonry. The builders built five relieving chambers to accomplish this. Only one small crack has developed in the ceiling slabs near the south wall in the 4,000 years since their creation. The King's Chamber relief chambers are only a few feet high. The sides are made of limestone and granite, and the ceilings are made of rough-cut blocks of pink granite. To support this weight, the higher chambers have saddle-shaped ceilings. Because the chambers were never meant to be seen, the builders left marks that have survived. 
Petrie claimed to have discovered the cattle census from Khufu's 17th year in power. A red granite sarcophagus is housed within the chamber. Because it is so large, it was most likely placed in the chamber during construction. It is designed in the style of early dynastic sarcophagi, which have flat-sided boxes with a groove on the inside to support the lid, one end left open to allow the lid to slide into place, and three pins to seal the lid once in place. However, the coffer's sides are not well finished. There are visible saw marks on the outside, and the saw appears to have cut too deeply on more than one occasion in the northwest corner. There are also the remains of a number of drill holes that the masons attempted to smooth over, but were unable to completely remove. The sarcophagus's cover is missing, as is the king's mummy. Some have speculated that it was a replacement sarcophagus, hastily constructed after the original was damaged. But there is no evidence to support this, and it does not explain why it is incomplete. It is far from clear that the king's chamber was intended for a burial. If so, it would be the first and only time a burial chamber was placed above the entrance. According to Diodorus Siculus, ancient legends claim that Khufu was not buried in his pyramid. Medieval Arab historians, on the other hand, speak of a mummy-shaped coffin that held the king's body. The sarcophagus, however, is not mummy form, the king's remains are no longer present, and it should be noted that they visited the pyramids over 3,000 years after Khufu's death. A Polish architect recently claimed that the crack in the chamber appeared before the pyramid was completed, prompting the construction of a new burial chamber that has yet to be discovered. At heights of 71 and 53 meters, there are two air shafts similar to those in the Queen's chamber. Currently, a ventilation fan is installed in the southern shaft to regulate the moisture produced by visitors. The Apis bull and the Hathor cow are directly atop the phoenix and the Benno bird. The Apis bull is a prominent symbol of Osiris, also known as the Great Bull of the West. And we believe that these etched stone reliefs represent Osiris's resurrection. These etched reliefs are located on the north wall of the king's chamber. The Great Pyramid's hieroglyphic name is Bull Mountain, which corresponds to the ancient name of the Giza Plateau, known formally as Rostau Anagram. The width of these granite etching reliefs is approximately 13 feet. The symbology also appears to match the zodiacal references of Taurus and Scorpio, with Scorpio being the sign that traverses the ascension throughout its lifetime, beginning as a scorpion, sometimes a snake, ascending as an eagle and finishing as a phoenix. The two birds can also be found in Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper fresco in Milan, which we believe was encrypted by Leonardo to represent the alchemical marriage of Osiris and Isis, and represents a virtual map of the king's chamber reliefs and hidden meanings, similar to the Apis bull discovered the year before. Leonardo has cleverly incorporated two birds into the same right wall of the Last Supper. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Would you like to visit the King's Chamber? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.